Hello fellow this is the third rock from the sun. It's your boy AK Raw. Welcome back to another episode of Clax Kitchen. So I got two videos today which we're going to go through. I'm going to do a standard Wizwit cheese steak and I'm going to do another video that has to do with an official request from my friend Nene that I met a few years back in the land down under in Australia and she has requested that I do a grilled cheese and tomato sandwich so that's what I'm gonna do whiz wit grilled cheese and tomato sandwich AK raw clacks kitchen let's do it first let's go over the ingredients for whiz wit hunk of ribeye cheese whiz fresh onion I know y'all love that onion based stuff don't worry we gonna keep doing it well you know what time it is time to cut the meat Time to chop the onion. I get better at that onion chopping with every video, but really, that one kind of made a big mess. Probably won't do that one again. And of course, you know, we need that olive oil. Boop. So typically what I like to do for a whiz wit, I put the onions on the grill and then I put the steak on top. And then I cook the steak till it's about ready, you know, to be pulled off. It might still be a little, little pink. And then uh, I throw like a tablespoon of cheese Whiz on top of it. And then I just mix it around in there and let the grill cook it right into the meat. And it comes out pretty good rather than heating it up beforehand because I think that takes too long. Oh, you know what time it is. Onion Bay. You know you like it. Here we go. So what happens? All right, now here's the part I'm talking about with the cheese whiz. I don't even know how to show this. If I put it on there, and I'm gonna chop it up and mix it up with the steak. It should be pretty good. As always, let the roll toast a little bit on there. And uh, we should have a good finished product here. Let's see what we get. And there she is, a perfect whiz wit. I'm gonna cut it in half, and let you know how it is. Yep, it was a good steak, whiz wit. By yours truly, Clack's Kitchen. Yum.